Hello everyone and welcome back to Team Fortress TV. We've got a hell of a match for you tonight. It is going to be Global Clan Fire versus Global Pit, uh, Clan. Uh, my name is T.C. Mano, joined with Mario Man on uh, the camera and a... Uh, uh, it's gonna be Mitch helping me out here for just a little bit, and we should have a really great match on process. And uh, you know, this Global Clan Panda team willing to show what they've got in this invite scene, forming from the ashes of the dead Milky's team. So it should be a heck of a match. Mitch, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. It is the afternoon here in Australia, uh, and I'm ready for a banger match. Now, uh, Global Clan, Panda and Fire, they're, they're down on the, like, lower end of the leader, but do we have that graphic? Can we, can we pull that up? Yes, they are. Global Clan, Panda, obviously, yeah. they're gonna have a weirder record, because they are uh, a new team in Invite, even though it's halfway through the season, have taken the spot of the unfortunately dead Milky's team, but, you know, a bit of those have reformed and cobbled together something new, and uh, as you can look, they're, they're kind of yeah. at the lower end at the as a result. Global Clan, Fire, they're currently sitting on six, with uh, two wins and nine losses, and then Global Clan, Panda, they're fresh out of the woods, um, and they've got four losses. However... I believe they have like a bunch of rematches that they have to do because they started in the middle of the season. So that could change later on uh, down the track. So that they, where they are sitting right now at 8th, they could definitely rise. Uh, we don't know. Uh, yeah. What are, what are you thinking today? There's, there's a lot of ringers even on both teams. Um, Yes, there are. So I guess we should just go over the rosters as we are here tonight, um, just in case you're, you know, looking at the RGL and things don't quite match up. So as it is in the server for Global Clan Fire, we've got Planadium, uh, Paul Dog on demo, Crypt and Walrex are going to be your soldier duo, and then Animus and Rikachu are going to be your duo. And if you want to take uh, GC Panda. I'm not in the server yet. You'll have to do it. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Well, we've got Gwendolyn, who was on the uh, previously mentioned Milky's team. Uh, we've got Drag, and uh, that's going to be the other scout right there. Sandblast and Alexandros are looking. They're going to be the soldiers. Um, I'm unsure on the demo right now because they're aliased as Barf. I don't have the uh, very nifty uh, spectator plugin tools. We've also got Kyler as the medic. Uh, Kyler for um as well so that's going to be the gc panda team kind of coming in together a few of these players off classing gwendolyn is known for a scout player sam Blast obviously more known on scout than soldier so this is going to be a bit of an interesting foray for them uh for him into uh into invite on a different class but from what i know of these players mitch i'm gonna have to give the edge to global clan fire um just on the factor that I think they've got more players playing their maids. Obviously, Paul Dog is more known for uh, Soldier, and he was scouting a little bit during the season as well. So I'm not sure how his demo fares in Invite, but um, regardless, this Global Clan Fire team has been together longer because GCP yeah. has just started up. So I think it wouldn't be um, that unfair to give them the Vic tonight. I feel like... You're, you're definitely right. However, I feel like GCP, they're, they're slowly starting to work on their team composition, and I think there might be a chance for them to do a big, like a couple big plays. Uh, overall, though, yeah, I, I do agree. Uh, Global Clan Fire, they're just much more powerful, and they've worked on their uh, practice, you know, a lot more because uh, they've been all together for a lot more. Uh, either way, we've got Jakey here, finally. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, hello. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So my <laughs> mic wasn't working. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I had late scrims. Um, uh, so I, uh, <laughs> and I kind of forgot. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. All, but I'm here. It's all good. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to see, I got homies on both these teams. Shout out to Warwick, shout out to <laughs> Dank. So I'm, I'm excited for this game, I'm excited for this game. Yes, it should be a heck of a match. It's going to be on CP Process, on um, the newest version that we're using in RGL. 
scale F7, which comes with a bit of minor improvements, you know, nothing really major whatsoever, just like a few quality of life fixes. But regardless process, everyone knows the map. It's definitely a uh, one very commonly played in pugs. So regardless of whether this is GCP's kind of like early days as a team, they should all know this map and there really shouldn't be any surprises compared to if we were seeing these teams play on something maybe on like Granary or Reckoner or, or maps that aren't pugged uh, as much necessarily. So I'm not expecting, uh, you know, this GCP team to look that shaky. I don't know. What do you think, Jakey? Because like you said, you do knew, uh, you do know some of the players on these. What is your insight on uh, what we're going to be seeing tonight? So I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I haven't been keeping up too much with Invite, but I know that Global Clan Fire has been uh, putting in some work. And I know that uh, Global Clan Panda is kind of a... Uh, um, a kind of thrown together team. I don't want to say thrown together, but I, you know, um, it is kind of a, a newer team, so they are working on their composition. So I think just based off of that, uh, there's definitely like not a huge difference in um, EM or mechanics, at least in my opinion. I think it's it is just going to be down to that coordination and that experience together as a team. Um, so I think it could be on the side of Global Clan. Uh, but I think it, it has the chance to, or sorry, Global Clan Fire, and I think, it, but I think it has the chance to be on the side of Panda. So, I I definitely agree as well, um, because it you know, addition to which I'm pretty sure isn't on the GCF route script, very experienced soldier. Um, he's been ringing a bit, you know, around. He rang for Froyo Tech a few seasons back, and you know, he's been on a lot of a. Uh, uh, kind of uh, mid to high level invite teams um, and he's playing his main so I definitely expect that to be a factor um, I also just think Animus is a really great scout that just hasn't had the time to uh, to shine necessarily so hopefully this might be a showing for them um, I'm also very excited to see the Sandblast off class as well onto Soldier but we're going live here once again this is going to be a battle of the Global Clans it's going to be Global Clan Fire versus Global Clan Panda take it away Jakey this first mid fight alright so we are going to be moving into this first mid fight it is going to be important that both the Soldier or demos get off their uh, rollouts we do see Walrax going in fast on the demo ooh he isn't going to be getting he didn't get picked off but we are going to see Bark go down so <clears throat> their demo is going to be down on the side of Global Clan Panda getting 2-3 actually for that mid really good trades for that and now they're just gonna have to leave and play this second point might even have to play their last because they're down all their explosives so they are actually leaving and now it's just gonna be down to uh, pushing into last for Global Clan Fire Yes, it is. They are. Ubers are basically going to be even. However, it looks like they are going to be trying to peek this lobby area, trying to see how this Global Clan Panda team is setting up. They're just walking through five right now. Just going to be trying to peek and prod as much as they possibly can. Crypt going to be taking down the sentry gun. And oh my god, Adam is. I think he caught a pipe or something very unfortunate, but he goes down to basically spam. So that is going to cancel that a uh, little peek forward that Global Clan Fire had into Global Clan Panda's last. And so now they're just going to get back. Back to second, maybe we'll see some type of action coming out from Global Clan Panda, and it is it's going to be drag on the sniper. He is going to peeking that one that shutter door right there. Maybe if someone can open it for him, they might get a cheeky pick on the zone, but no one is there, so a bit of a waste, unfortunately, for them. So it looks like we're just going to head into another stalemate right now, Jakey. Yeah, I think they're going to try their hardest to work their sniper, but oh, we do see Walrus getting into one and spamming the gun down. Still doing lots of work, Crypt, or Crypt is spamming, he's doing lots of work. Oh, they're getting lots of kills! They're trading back and forth. Uh, they did trade a scout and a scout and a soldier and a soldier. Oh, we do see Crypt get bombed, or bombed in, but he doesn't get anything and he gets picked off. But is down three on the side of GCF, and GCP is looking like to try and poke their heads out. Sandblast is trying to poke out of upright T to try and get something done, but the scouts are pressuring him out. Yeah, oh my god, Paul Dog goes down super oh. low. Clutch arrow almost hit it from Planadium. I guess it wasn't clutch. It was almost clutch. But still, very unfortunate for him that he goes down there. But all the players on the side of GCP are very low, so they can't really take advantage of it just yet. Looks like they're going to be trying to go through lower lobby right now and trying to get through. That is going to be a scout. Just juking and dodging it. However, Gwen does eventually go down. Sandblast jumping forward. Just making a lot of space for his team. Like Alexandra's the bomb forward with him. And they're just going to be muscling out this GCF team. Planadium kind of disconnected, finally meeting it back up with the demo so they can 
use and not drop any of theirs. So now this is going to be GCF to try and go forward, bait out the uh, from the side of Global Clan oh, Panda. But the back cap. cap! I didn't even realize that is going to be... Yeah, that is going to be Gwendolyn on that back cap right there. Oh, wait, no. I'm yeah. sorry. That was Rikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Completely wrong, dude. All right, so go ahead and take it away for this mid. All right, I am going to be watching a... Uh, I'm going to be watching Sandblast. I, I'm just normally watch the demos, but I'm going to be watching Sandblast. I'll see what he's doing on this soldier class. Scout main turned soldier main. It's interesting to see. He's just going to be waddling up, you know, prepared. He's going to be shooting that rocket into the sky going to be denying that soldier who's just going to be it bombing to try and cause a little bit of a distraction right now but gcf they're all kind of huddled up there is a player in behind that is walrix and he's slow coming through the choke area he gets one rocket on the soldier not really that you want and he's going to go down while the rest of his team has all the space for just dropping all of their players that is going to be gwendolyn finally going down but that's only one for two and uh, a better deal right now for the side of global clan panda so now they're going to remuscle their way here back onto mid a Soldier jumping forward, gonna be Alexandros bombing the high ground right now, and Rikachu going down so low has to back up and give up a lot of space. And this is just a really back and forth mid fight right now, Jakey. Both teams are just playing this so slowly right now, just trying to outspam the other team and bully them out. But a huge soldier play, gonna be Crypt going in. He doesn't really manage to find anything. He it's just going to be going down for it. But the cap is so close that in all of this time, Global Clan Fire has just been tr trying to cap up the midpoint, maybe to go and try and get those faster respawners. But they are going to have to back out. They're down the players and they're down the positioning. And that is, I think, finally a mid win for Global Clan Panda. Yeah, that was definitely really interesting because it looked like they were definitely losing that mid. They that uh, Global Clan Fire had so much positioning on them and they were all in choke but they ended up getting two picks and were able to just kind of pressure their way back on the mid and then just retake the ground really really slowly so that so <laughs> both banks probably could have got uber twice on that mid but um very interesting mid coming out from the side of global clan panda and now we're just going to be waiting and seeing uh when they're going to sack Yep, it is would technically be on Global Clan Panda to try and do something. Looks like they're just a uh, you know waiting around, maybe trying to devise some formula in their heads to break this fire a uh, hold that they've got on second right now. Looks like we do have a soldier going into sewer. It is going to be Sandblast. Looks like he's maybe going for a play through al -Qaeda, but it is going to be Alexandros actually bombing through choke right now in that distraction. Going to be taking down Animus, so a scout for a soldier. Not the best thing, not the best thing at the end of the day. It is one for one. Walrix in the IT area. Just going to be spamming a little bit, maybe trying to catch out someone peeking him, but at the end of the day, I do think both players are going to come up, and we are going to be back in the same position that we were, just waiting on a, uh, a play from Global Clan Panda. Yeah, look, that was an interesting jump coming through the choke, but he did end up getting the scout, which worked out, and then Crip just counter-bombed and got picked super, super easily. Oh, we do see Sandblast bombing in. Gets a rocket off. Ooh, he gets the force. Yeah, Pal uh, Palladium has the force there. And they're not able to really get anything. This is kind of a whole family mover. Oh, Kurt's <laughs> going to go down to Gwen in the choke. So now they're down a player and they're down Disad. So now they have to back up here. Looks like Global Clan Panda is just going to start taking this point for free. This Crypt isn't allowed to do anything. Walrex actually bombing choke. Oh, oh my god. It... Off. He got the force off. Nice. So now they're going to be up 30%, actually close to 40% for this, for this push out of last. Yeah, they are, but they are just going to try and barrel through, probably not give any space to Global Clan 5. They are going to get down oh. on the Gwen, but Planadium with a nice arrow kill on the Sandblast. That one's got to hurt. And so now, looks like they're just going to try and regroup here. Looks like they're maybe still trying to peek some of these doorways and try and catch out. Crypt already in lobby, however, just trying to deny them as much space as he possibly can. Planadium coming up onto 80% Uber is going to be about 30% more than Kyler, almost about 40% even. And so now this is going to be on them. They do have an Uber ad, but they've got to be quick with it. As a uh, Kyler is going to be coming up on his a uh, rather soon. But the Uber is going to use through lower right now. Going to be bombing their demo. Rikachu, however, is dropped in that whole Uber exchange. But Kyler going down. Really great stuff from Animus to focus that pick and get that medic. But the back half attempt from Alex Andros is going to be stopped. Alex Andros in behind. Barf, the demo is on the point right now. Planadium with another crossbow kill is going to be taking him down as well. So really clutch plays from... Planadium right there and Animus to secure and keep their team in it not drop around right now So it looks like they are finally going to be taking control of second even 
game though, in all of that exchange, they did have drop a few players. Sandblast gonna be trying to make a play for the point right now. Global Clan Fire Team, a uh, Global Clan Panda actually they are gonna have to back up here. They're down players right now and they're down positioning. They're just trying to stay here, maybe try and catch out a weak player, but they are gonna head back to mid. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Global Clan Fire go forward here, Jakey. Yeah, definitely some interesting plays. They decided to fight that even on that low ground disad, and they had disad in general, so it was really uh um, you know, a risk move to fight there, but they knew that the, the other medic wasn't going to get uber, so they decided to take that fight and maybe try and retake second, but they got forced out on the dis- on the, you know, dis out of just being on the floor, but now it looks like they're taking their uber through IT, trying to go fast to kill their med. They bombed through three player uber, but we do see Kyler getting the uber there, so they are going to get picked off, and Animus getting picked off here. Oh, Palladium with a lot- with a really nice surf, surfing into sewer here. Pigs getting- t getting traded back and forth. We do see them still fighting in show. Walrix oh, Rikachu! Oh my god, the combined play of Walrix and Rikachu getting on the barf. Gwendolyn going down as well. Oh my god, Paul Dog lodged in the air. Finally gonna land on the health bag and stay alive. Kyler gonna be running the heck out of there. And it looks like he, I know, actually gonna be regrouping up with the rest of your team. So now Samplast on the mid. Really great rocket. Gonna be taking out there. Samplast again with the help of Drag. Gonna be taking down Paul Dog. Now this is swung back into the favor of, of Global Clan Panda. If they can keep their med alive they are gonna have a very nice set to work with you that is gonna be the soldiers in super deep one rocket going down onto Kyler but Kyler gonna be dodging that away heading back into the choke to the safety of this and so that is gonna be a successful mid hold albeit a very scrappy one for global clan panda yeah I'm noticing a lot of these fights are very very DPM based I think a lot of games are just getting like having players get caught out and then they are just having to kind of make up or in salvage and they're, they're just having really good salvage plays on the side of each team it's just kind of going really back and forth so it's it's really just down to who hits them the better shots with with these teams right now is how it's looking and it looks like they're starting to take their uber into lobby trying to work it Ooh, they do end up losing alexandros there though they're trying to go through three they haven't used yet they're milking here they used okay they used on the floor looks like they're trying to take it top right they get the gun they aren't able to really get anything else, though. Sticks are to the point. Nobody's cleared any of them. They don't have any other picks. It's really looking not too good for them. They are going to lose Sandblast, and it looks like they are just going to have to back out here. Kyler yeah. in, trying to save his demo. Not able to get him. Ooh, okay. Oh, we're just pressing. Kyler's so you. low there. Oh my god, that was risky for Kyler there, but Demo's just spinning pipes and stickies. It looks like they were going to go down, but they do manage to juke out of there. But Planet them now on a hundred percent uber ad just waiting for the rest of these respawns to come up they are still going to be down crypt and rikachu but i think that's a risk they're willing to take here as they run in through this say a uh, rollout area right now it's just going to be actually paul dog peeking it and he might get caught actually they it looks like he is mainly gonna back up away from that bombing sandblast soldier the rest of the players going to be using the uber on the anime it's going to be taking down the demo right there on the side of global clan panda so now they are going to be able to cap up second point but they really only got a demo for it and because Kyler is almost on that 100% uber this is still a very um bad place for uh, global clan fire to be and they do see Walrex jumping in trying to get some space here but it looks like he jumped behind right at the wrong moment as they used through sewer so he wasn't able to get anything there and they ended up losing Paul Dog in that uber but well, and Rikachu as well so they are already down two players on this last and it looks like they're gonna try and go off it really quickly they're taking this through three, they're gonna play. Ooh, they get crypt as well. This is looking really, really good for Global Clan Panda. And they're taking it in, getting the space, getting lots of cap time on the point. They're gonna get that, and they're gonna get huge plays coming out from them. They were catch Paul Dog, and then they rolled, got Reek Chew, and then they got crypt in lobby, and they were able to just roll it to their last. Really great stuff indeed, and it's shaping up to be a close one, regardless of who wins it at least for this path right now score gonna be 1-1 one, one, global clan panda versus global clan fire uh once again you know i'm gonna be this time i'm gonna be watching barf or uh as he is currently alias for me right now the demo for global clan panda just gonna be sticking up the high ground gonna be getting some early damage right now onto a uh one of his soldiers right there but it's gonna be alexandros actually gonna be going down first and i think that's gonna be enough for global clan panda to just uh give up mid right now they don't they didn't have the positioning and being that one player down it looks like like they're just gonna be happy to give it up sit on their second point 
Uh, however, the other team, Global Clan Fire, it looks like they're trying to peek this. Going to be sending in a sack of Warwicks. He gets denied. That scout just DM and just air denial just suspends him in the air. Cancels all the momentum. The soldier player, you hate to have it happen to you. But, you know, that's the purpose of this. Yeah, we do see a soldier man on the side of Global Clan Panda, but he does get taken out really quickly. They are getting pressured on the flank, though, with no roamer there. Crypt is going to have to rotate. It looks like they... Oh, they are able to pick up Arp and choke. So he's going to go down, and they're going to be able to walk through here. At least pretty... A lot less contested. Oh, they are oh Crypt's in on the med! Well. Yeah. Huge force in on there. And now they have... Global Clan Fire has all of the add to push into the second... Maybe even to last... Um, they are gonna come in, they're getting lots of because they get the medic, they get the soldier, Iris is gonna go down, oh there's a soldier in choke! He's on oh, the Planadium has to use, there's no one with him right now, finally a scout respawner I think, Animus coming back in crypt, so now we're just gonna try and get Planadium out alive, please kill this scout on Planadium, he dies the fall damage, that's actually very lucky right there, because Planadium, I mean, was very weak. Um, so that scout dying to fall damage, very lucky for them, but now the rest of our respawners coming out because they still have mid and all that, so they do have the faster respawners. They are going to be walking through this choke right now, Planadium baiting a little bit in that soldier bomb being the reason why Samblet's slipping in there. Going to be trying to down another soldier right now, Walrex, but he's just going to jump to the safety of his team, and it looks like Global Clan Panda, they want to try and at least cap this up, but they're too weak to do so, however that is the demo caught in and Gwendolyn going down as well, so two down on the side of Global Clan Panda. That's going to be enough for Global Clan Fire to just run through here. They already had mid. Paul Dog going to be down. Planetum drops. Actually, no, he doesn't drop. He just dies. Unfortunate regardless. And that it looks like they're going to be able to cap up second. But with Kyler at 50% Uber at as long as they can hold on to this last point right here, Jakey, they should be able to come in. But so much cap time already on the point. But respawners playing up now. That is going to be the Gwen off the heavy. The Brass Beast just denying anyone from walking in here. So this looks like it's going to be a hopefully successful last hold for the side of Global Clan Panda. And let's see how they push out here, Jakey. Yeah, let's see. So they did lose two on the side of Global Clan uh, f <clears throat> Fire, and so they are going to be out here with this Uber. He's at 99. He's going to get that beam. Walrush is going to bomb. Get a lot of damage down on the demo. Oh, they're setting a player behind. Crypt is going to last. Oh, he's bombing back in. Okay, they get, they're going to get the force there, and it looks like they are going to start leaving through choke. Palladium, Palladium though, is already really far out, so they're going to have 50 add here. Are, we're gonna be down two players and so uh, Global Clan Panda might just dry fight this. It looks like they are. They are just trying to get in and fight it. Oh, Paul Dog destroys Alexandros there. Um, and then we are gonna see that they're gonna start getting the Uber here. They're at around 75. They can't get this Uber in this fight if they milk it long enough. Looks like they're trying to pressure them out, trying to get them out. They are starting to leave choke. And it looks like they are gonna start taking this Uber into second here. Global Clan Fire walking it in. They are there. Are there is traps there? I don't know what they know. Okay, he deads. He is gonna dead and he's gonna do some damage to the scout. But they're not gonna. They're actually gonna leave second entirely. So yeah, they force. just fear. They just yeah, fear this Uber so much. They really do. They didn't even send the soldier to force. So now they have a sniper up. He's gonna be. Oh, he's watching five. Okay, so the medic Palladium had to for had to force because there was a sniper watching that sight line. Um, he did get body shot, but he isn't gonna be too weak here. Sandblast bombing the medic on post uber is gonna get the medic there. Huge damage are gonna actually drop a lot of players there and now Kyler is gonna have full add here and let's see if they're gonna if uh, Global Clan Fire is gonna be able to get the force off. Yeah, Rikachu still in is going to go down, however. So, a good attempt from Global Clan Fire. They got in, they got a lot of space with that Uber, at least a threat of Uber, but the actual Uber itself didn't do much. They got one for it, I believe, in that whole exchange as a direct result of the Uber. So now, Global Clan Panda, they're going to be happy to come up on their second. That is going to be Walrex trying to go in. Looks like he is actually going to get some off oh. the, the demo. Really great stuff. That was looking like a really bad bomb for Walrex. He was just getting denied from the scout, but he managed to just surf around and catch out the overextended barf. Um, or at least I think he thought he was safe, but the rest of his team just did not clean up Walrex in time. Still, however, Global Clan Panda going to be trying to come in on the bit. Oh my god, a nice rocket. I think from Sandblast onto the one of those escaping soldiers right there. Uh, however, Alexandros is going to die. He was trying to bomb forward onto the escaping team. Oh my god, Sandblast on three. How can he stay alive? He does stay alive. A nice uh, little serve on that rock to keep him there. However, that's not going to stop the soldiers from trying to make some space for the rest of their team, but Walrex is going to be going down. And right now, 
while, even though Planadium does have Uber, Kylo has it as well, and they have less players up. So they're just going to have to back up to last right now, Jakey. Yeah, they did lose all of their explosives there. They tried to jump through. I'm not entirely sure why, but they did try to send their soldiers through that choke there. Um, so they did lose them pretty quickly. And, oh, they are going to get pick up those two, oh, three picks. Paul Dog going off on the uh, one and two door right there, getting lots of picks here. Um, so it looks like they, uh, Global Clan Panda is just going to have to back up here. And they're able to take second free. And then, honestly, if they deny, oh, I don't know if they denied. No, I don't, don't believe they it. Yeah. Oh, they are gonna have to walk through here. Oh, they're, they're deciding to dry fight it. Oh my god, so much cake going on right now. But, but, but it's clear, however, everyone on GCF is dying. But Ubers are exchanged right now. Soldier bombing in huge. That is gonna be Sam. Let's just launch through the air, however. Gonna stay into safety to get an arrow and stay alive. However, Reek you down, Animus down. It's almost a full wipe for GCF. It's only Paul Dog and Palladium alive. Paul Dog does go down. It's just Palladium on last. He's been getting some good arrow kills, but he can't just 1v5 a whole enemy team. Finally gonna be capping up second, and now for just gonna be on the last some soldier spawners from the side of GCF trying to do as much as they can but it's not gonna be enough and Global Clan Panda takes the second round 2-1 and they uh they're you know they're in the lead right now it's not necessarily what I expected but it's been close Jakey so far so let's see if GC have have it in them to come back and take another round uh why don't you take away this mid yeah, I'm definitely surprised with how they're playing. It's definitely very, very chaotic space. So they're going to be moving into this mid. We do see that Walrex is aggressive on Barth Pierce, just like he has this whole game. He's been really aggressive on their demos. Looks like the soldiers are trying to pull bomb. Um, Sandblast is in kind of late. We do see the soldier bomb getting lots of damage on the med. He's going to go down, though. Bladenum is, is backed up into IT here. He's actually kind of locked out, stuck in there. He's only 80 HP. He has to be in there. Now it looks like Global Clan Fire is gonna have to back out, and they are just gonna edge the point. Global Clan Panda is just gonna edge the point there. Even though they lost two players, they were able to edge, and now they're just gonna get forward spawns for those players. Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, oh my God, nice <laughs> denial of the demo bomb there from it. Walrex, I believe, and Paul Dog to just deny that. But regardless, they are gonna have the back the heck out of here actually disconnecting from the med right now it looks like paul dog might be caught out but no he is going to be saved from another soldier but on that mid right there it looked like gcf just didn't take any high ground allowing all of his soldiers sam plus and alexandros to just keep high bombing and distracting free without like anyone uh, worrying anyone uh, at shooting at them so they got to change it up for the next time but regardless they're going to be sitting on their last right now. Uh, it looks like they're going to be trying to work through one right now, this uh, Global Clan Panda team. But Alexandros dies. Looks like the other team are going to be trying to peek one again. The Soldier Bomb Wall is going to be bombing in super high and deep. Getting some good rockets, however. On to Kylo. Going to be forcing out the Uber right now. Barf coming down as well. Alexandros is on the side. Let's see if that does anything. Rikachu is in behind right now. They might know that they have a spy because I think Alexandros decided to uncloak because I don't... I think he expected anyone up there, so they might know, but Alexandro's still in on the spy on second right now. Gonna be just watching this, so they know they're going through choke right now. I'm just gonna be on the spy cam. Um, He's in choke, no one's looking. Oh, a scout turned around. Tur er, uh, Animus turned around and was able to hit, clean him up there. So it looks like they are gonna have ad here that it looks like they're gonna cap it. Um, so uh, they're gonna start walking forward here. They should be walking forward here, trying to take advantage of this Uber ad. So they, they cap the bait, they start walking forward here, trying to pressure. Sandblast is bombing in. Ooh, getting a lot of good damage, but Palladium actually taking <laughs> zero damage, so he's gonna be good. Catches a pipe though, he's really weak in choke. He's gonna have to back up to get this pack, and now the Ubers are starting to even out really, really close here. Looks like Sandblast getting ready to bomb into choke again. No, he's, he's strafing out. Both soldiers yeah. are taking turns just bombing back and forth into this choke and just not letting them walk through, and now Ubers are going to be even here. There have been so many times where Sandblast should have hit and he didn't. That's how one of them. He lived, and I think someone just beefed a rocket onto him, and he had his escape plan, escape plan out. So if that rocket had hit, he would have died, but Sandblast just doing a really good job of living right now. Um, what he really probably shouldn't be, however, so like you said, Ubers are going to be evening out. So this time we're going to be waiting on Global Clan Fire to try and do something. I don't know many of these players. I don't know how much they like to go off classes. So I'm not sure 
if we should be expecting any of that Jakey. However, you know, it is Rasa, so as everyone knows, Sniper is pretty good. However, it looks like they are going to be trying to a uh, to rush IT right here. They have their demo, and it's like they're going to be peeking it. Actually, it's just the demo. No, finally, a scout to come up and help. Looks like they might try and take this Uber, at least force to give room for one of their players to do something. Barf is weak. He's on 7 HP. He does get arrowed up, but the soldier trait is in. Alexandros for Walrex. Just some rumor on rumor action. However, Sample is going to be taking down Bald Talk. I'm not sure what he was in IT for that long. The rest of his team had abandoned him by that point. So now this is going to be Q for Global Clan Panda to try and get him, but the Uber is going to be used. Going to be trying to stuff them at the choke right now. Going to be better so far on the side of Global Clan Fire. Sandblast is going to be going down, but it looks like actually they are going to be able to keep this mid, as I think Global Clan Fire is just going to be... Uh, I mean, Global Clan Panda's just going to be happy to keep on their second and uh, stop their push on the mid right there, Jakey. Yeah, we are look Oh, and now two both flank are going to get in. Oh, the fat from Alexandros and Barf getting the pipe in. And and Drag are going to be cleaning up those kills as well. They are going to lose Blade in them there. Get you and Walrex on the side of G7. So now it's looking like Global Pan or Global Clan Panda is just going to bomb in here. Ooh, Fuck gets caught. He gets caught out with his fan blast and then he's going to get off by Animus. Animus gets picked off by Drag. And it's looking like they are going to cap this point. Uh, they did get Tyler though, however, so Global Clan Fire does have that going for them that they did get they did get Tyler there. They are gonna have about a twenty, maybe thirty percent Uber ad here, and they might be able to do something off of it. Yeah, they are. It looks like they are gonna be trying to contest this midpoint right now. Oh immediately Walrix is gonna be dying and they uh, a little one v one with Gwen. Gwen gonna be winning that scout class reigns supreme right now soldier are going to be bombing in it is sam bless he gets one rocket on platinum i'm going to be oh. surfing around but it's not going to be enough sam bless with another knight's rocket on the platinum platinum going to be going down and that is going to be unfortunate that uber ad that they have is just all for naught as now it's going to be on gcf to keep their or gcp to keep their meta alive kyler playing in this choke area and uh, sam bless going to be going down to some well-placed stickies from the side of all dog looks like another soldier and going to be getting one rocket in but the scout's going to be and Gwen coming to save her medic right now. Walrix is going to be going down another attempted assassination on the medic. Not going to be enough. And they, uh, just for your and my information, Jakey, do believe Barf is the player known as Kobe? Kobe, okay, okay. Yeah, so Kobe, definitely a really sealed player. Um, I will say that this game has been very, very, very chaos-based. Um... It's been very interesting to see these teams because I feel like a majority of the fights that they are winning are strictly DM based. Them have really been off of advantages. They've been people fighting each other, 1v1s, and then people dying. And now it looks like they're trying to. Uh, Global Clan Panda's trying to walk in with this Uber ad. It's not even really ad, they just had slight player ads, so they come in with this exchange, trying to exchange on point, but Global Clan Panda is flashing more. Their Uber is going to be worse here. If we end up flashing a whole lot at the end of that Uber for the side of Global Clan Fire, they are losing some players though. Alexandros going down, Drag going down, uh, Kobe going down, losing lots of players on the side of Global Clan Panda. This really good hold by Global Clan Fire. So now we are going to see them push out of here, especially with no demo to test them. They are going to be able to take this ground easily. Um, they still have, so their soldiers are going to need assistance on this point. Not sure what's taking so long to push out here. Uh, but they definitely should be taking this ground. So they are taking this ground now, capping this point, taking this ground, and now it is going to stalemate once again the second point. Probably will, unless another wacky play out of nowhere happens. Looks like Paul Dog and his soldier are gonna be just gonna be trapping up sewer, making sure no one from GCP does a crazy sneaky play. But it looks like we are gonna be going into a fairly normal. Um, you know, mid to second, a uh, stalemate once again. Gonna be interested to see how GCP decides to attempt to break this. It looks like they are gonna send Alexandros in, but it's just a bait right now. As a uh, one soldier and the other soldier commits Alexandros, he gets two rockets off a bit, but not enough to kill anyone or force out an Uber. But y you know, can't say he didn't try. That is the Walrex going to be jumping through him sewer back through choke. And a, uh, you know, just a bit of casual chaos right now. That seems to be the, uh, the motive or the theme for the night right now, Jakey. And for sure. And now Alexandro's back up. He's on the sniper trying to do something that will eventually break this stalemate. Let's see where he is going to be peeking from. Looks like he's peeking the, the standard crate spot into choke. 
Trying to see if we can get a pick. I think the I think GCF knows that they have a sniper now. Um, they're trying to maybe play a little bit more passive with it, not take as much damage. Um, so they're waiting out for this sniper, maybe trying to see if uh, GCP will get impatient and lose a player. Um, it looks like they are getting a player excited in. Uh, actually, their whole combo is rotated into um, sewer now, and they are trying to peek their sniper deep there, but. It oh, Pikachu wins a 1v1 out. in the back lines. Ooh. He's behind the right now, going to be trying to make a play on of a snipe. Sorry to cut you off there, but I just saw him win that 1v1 against Drag. Um, he doesn't manage to find anything more, but he at least forces all of those players out of suit. Or so by, you know, a bit more time before that sniper becomes another threat. He's going to be posted Alexandros on top of Blue Crate. So he's just looking down choke right now. And, they, uh, you know, all these GCF players, they know there's a sniper, so they're playing in uh, safe positions right now, but they are awarding a bit of space. Alexandra's going to be peeking choke very heavily, just almost running all, all the way through, but, you know, he backs up when it starts to be headed his way. So, once again, going to be a stalemate. Paul Blood going to be done quickly. Huge ball! So much damage getting onto all of them. He did a solid 100 damage to four of the players on GCF. It looks like they are going to take that uber, and uh, um, it looks like Kyler's going to get forced there. He's going to drop two of his players, though. Um, it is looking somewhat even here, um, besides uh, the sniper that they have, but the sniper is going to be peeking deep. Um, he does have the groundwork here, because he does have a lot of his combo Paul players Dog! still alive. Oh my god, Paul Dog was in sewer that entire time. I guess, I don't know if he was just baiting his team, or what he was doing there, but he gets Get the drop Kyler. onto Kyler. Kyler nice. doesn't drop, but he gets the, gets the metaphorical drop, you know, the surprise drop onto him. Riku gonna be going down, and is gonna be Ooh, taking down Alexandros. Sandblast. Sandblast hair shot, huge air shot on the crypt there. Sorry to cut you off, but it is going to be, uh, they, I, even though they have the uber red they are still down three players um it looks like gcp doesn't have the point yet but oh looks like paul dog is gonna get gwen huge pipes coming out from him oh but he's gonna get picked off by kobe coming in doing huge damage onto the enemy team or he is gonna get a huge amount of points or a huge a huge amount of damage there but um now that they are they are down a demo so they uh gcp might be trying to drive fight this they are trying to at least sack here Get a lot of damage on a plate in them, but he lives. Oh my god, that air shot for all Rex. The soldiers! Oh my god, and Crypt and Wall Rex. What? Oh, oh my, time. okay, it's the time, time. the time. Okay, I was, I, like, I, I, I was, I was like, like, dude, this is so chaos. <laughs> I don't understand half the stuff that's happening because okay. they're just like fighting for so little reason. Yeah. I mean, they, they had the demo pick, so they tried to sack off that, but then. Their whole team just ended up committing because they got another few, and it's just insane. Okay, the amount of chaos that's Crypt happening. in Wall Alrex just saved that round. I thought they didn't because I thought at the end JCP won, but they they completely just mulched all of those uh, Panda players on the point. Uh, so really great uh, soldier work from Crypt and Walrex right there to make sure that it's not a uh, three to one scenario going into the second half here, Jakey. But um, regardless, you know, it's chaotic, but it's definitely been back and forth. Can't say that one team has been, um, at least definitively better than the other, which may, may come as a bit of a surprise. I think we were expecting GCF to be a bit more noticeably on top, just because, you know, they've been a team, uh, longer, so to speak. But, you know, this Global Clan Panda team, even though it's a bit of a mixed match of players, um, they've definitely been holding their own, and they're coming into the second half with the advantage. Absolutely. They do have a, a one-point advantage on the uh, on GCF, but I think what's, what's interesting to me is GCF is making a lot of very fundamental mistakes, in my opinion. Same with GCP. At the beginning... GCP, when they would walk into mid, they barely even took ground. They would mainly just stay in choke, and I think that's the reason why they lost those you know, first two mids, because they were kind of getting just um, out DM'd because they didn't have the high ground. And then, um, But then it did end up working out for them in uh, one of the mids because they would they kind of like baited players into them and then fought them. Okay, we're readied up. But it's just really interesting that both teams are kind of just making these like subtle mistakes that are just really snowballing here. But we are going to be getting into the second half of this game uh, and go ahead and take away this first mid.
I will. I will just neither team uh, updated the config, so we might have another half in case they don't do it in time. Regardless, a lot of damage going to be coming out onto Kobe. He's going to wait for an air to get healed up right now. Looks like it's going to be a high bomb right now all the way in. Going to be trying to connect the damage onto Kobe, but Kobe says no thank you and just denies Crypt. Rikachu going to be winning up against Sandblast, but the soldier going to be coming in. One nice rocket onto Kyla right now, but not enough to get the kill. It's only going to be Paul Dog and Animus alive. Paul Dog going in for a huge play against Kyler. Really great stuff from him just bombing in. Um, so good stuff from Paul Dog and S to, I guess, you know, help get that. So both medics dead on that mid fight. Obviously, Planadium dying earlier. So, in a weird way, gonna be the one a favorite out of that. Gonna be getting a bit more of an early start on the Uber race. But uh, it should be enough to try and hold the second. Kobe is gonna be peeking it, maybe trying to get a cheeky sticky trap if he can. But all of these players are wise to it, so we are once again in the classic process, mid to second stalemate, Jakey. Yes, and, uh, uh, and it looks like Palladium actually does have Uber Ed here, because he died pretty early on in the mid. Um, he died, like, I think to the very first Soldier Bomb, and then we did see Kyler die at the very, very end of that. So it is looking like they are going to have slight uber ad here actually around 30 ad a definitive 30 ad here so they are going to be able to take this in if they really want to um it looks like they are starting to get ready maybe take it choke um they're still building the super looks like they double sticky their demo through choke he's in deep paul dog is deep and soldiers and they're busting through the flank trying to get in and do as much damage as possible paul dog is going to go down but the side of gcp is going to be way push back to choke they are gonna leapfrog this though coming in and trying to kill the players that are capping they are gonna get rikachu rikachu's gonna go down crypt very very weak in choke warrex also weak he's oh that's unfortunate ball damage unfortunate so they they don't have the midpoint either so they aren't gonna get forward spawn so they are definitely gonna looks like gcp is definitely gonna try and roll this into the last point because they do have uber ad and point ad now um so it looks like they are just gonna try and take this into lobby maybe uh yeah they're in through five Taking it up as far as they can. Uh, they're walking kind of on the floor. They still haven't used yet. They're milking here. Still trying to just poke and prod. The demo did down on the point. Looks like they, they're just starting to edge the cap. Nobody's nobody's denying them. They just win. They didn't even have to use Zuper. They did it. Walrix even got the drop onto yeah. a... Uh... Onto a uh, killer right there, but at the end of the day, it didn't even matter. Probably would have been worse if Kyler had used, because it probably would have just denied the scouts on the point from capping it up. So this is going to be a three to one. It's going to be uh, the pandas taking a lead over fire right now, and going to be watching Kobe because I quickly look at, at the stats from the second half. Kobe was going to keep on the damage so i want to see what he's doing on the midst to farm that damage just going to be spamming these stickies across the point right now as a uh, you know we're heading into maybe a bit of a slower mid alexandros is in behind as i say that bulldog is going to be going down so a demo down on the side of fire right now looks like all of these panda players are just going to be trying to use that to their advantage jump in as global clan fire has to just exit out through this choke side area right now but they're on the wrong side of the map right now they're on fire side of the map not their own so they've got to try and get at the heck out of here right now it is going to be animus trying to lead his medic through sewer they are going to use uber it looks like they are going to be taking down kobe oh. so at least that is one good pick if they could force the uber here that would be ideal however it looks like they're just going to opt to get planetium out going to be taking one rocket but that's enough for them to surf the heck out of there going to be animus finally going to be falling but, you know, uh, your scout dying instead of your med, you're going to be taking that every day of the week. And uh, even though they are at 100% uber disad right now, they do have a little bit of a hold on second. Alexandros, however, already in that upper IT area. He might die, and he's getting a lot of good damage. But I do think that should be enough for Global Clan Panda to take control of the second point here, Chicky. Platinum just lives. He just doesn't die. He survives everything. He survives that <laughs> soldier trapping him in mid. He survives Sandblast sinky rocketing him, and he lives with, what, 20 HP? He gets out, he just lives. And he actually is at 80% almost, so he might be able to get this Uber towards the end of this fight if they can force them early. He's actually at 90. They're going to get this Uber. If he can live, he's dodging, the, he's dodging as much as he can. He's at 97, 99. He just got Uber. He fuses... Oh, but they are going to drop a lot of their players, but it is even players right now, and they do have Uber. Oh, it looks like Kyler's going to go down. Kyler's going to go down. Oh, they get the... So was on point. They got to get Sable as a oh point, right? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Barf is oh, Sable's got played in him. It's just Crypt alive. 
So 1v1! Who's wins? Paul, it's gonna- Oh, Kobe! Oh, oh my god. The animus, the animus gets up and he does serve, and he does- Oh, what? they are gonna trade with Alexandros. This is- a, it's so chaotic. I can't- it, it's so hard to tell what's happening most of the time. It's, it's just so like insane. it's just like mutually assured destruction right now. Oh, Both players just oh, Santa just got owned. By <laughs> oh my god! Paul that was just coming in and owning Sandblast. Oh Holy my! Moly. That they, you know at least even if they don't win, that's a morale big right there for Paul Dog at the very least. Uh, Sandblast giving a little LMFAO in chat right now. And through all of that, it is going to be Global Fire on the better end right now. Ubers are basically even. Global Clan Panda and Kyla have a little bit of an Uber advantage. Only 10%. But at the end of the day, at least Global Clan Fire, they're not on their last and they're having to worry about some a, uh, impending uber advantage push from the other team. Looks like Sandblast is in Al-Qaeda, maybe just trying to draw eyes for someone to come through choke. But, you know, as Alexandros is rolling out, I don't think that's going to necessarily really happen just quite yet so both of these teams are just going to try and farm damage trying to see if they're in the opening that they possibly can use sandblast is going to be bombing in looks like he was maybe trying to go for the demo right there but he is going to die as everyone expertly jukes his rockets that's going to be the common guard for crit going he immediately dies to some well-placed sticky traps from the side of kobe and uh, you know a classic soldier for soldier trader right there jakey yeah, definitely huge plays coming out. <laughs> Another um, soldier piece, soldier trade. Again. Guess. Yeah, these these trades are definitely working in the favor of uh, GC, GCP for sure. I mean, they're they're totally fine to lose these players, but GCF really want to try and stay alive in these fights so they can counter sack off this because you know they are on the fence, they are on the back foot, and they are down rounds. So they are trying to just get as many advantages as possible, and they might even try and send a few sacks themselves first if they are able to oh but they do end up getting gwent here um so they are gonna definitely try and send a sack here to try and get a force let's see where warrex is gonna come in he might be trying to get in uh through choke it looks like nope he i don't know where he is oh, oh my god sandblast with another nice rocket on the Rikachu. jeez but that's going to be enough for Alex Andrews to try and go in there and get as much damage as he can. Sandblast following up on it. He hits one nice rocket on the Planadium, but they're just selling out Planadium right now. Paul Dog does die instead, but, you know, they didn't get their main target, but Nemo is the next best thing, but... Oh my god, the rockets from Walrex just they destroying Dragon Gwen. And the Uber Force is going to be popped out from Kyla, just going to be escorting uh, Kobe the heck out of there right now. But they might get caught out. Yeah, Kyler is going to be going down eventually to Walrex. Oh, Kobe's pipes are nuts. He just two pipes animus. He just don't. That's so nuts. Kobe's <laughs> pipes have been insane this game. But they do, but played it on Fish Milk there, did really, really well, and Warrex farming in Choke is a, definitely a huge play, and they are gonna try and capitalize off this Uber ad. They do have full ad, they actually have A plus ad right now, but played it on going down to 25 HP, it looks like he was catching some spam. Um, Let's see what they're able to oh do. Oh my with god, Walrex is in behind. He just gets on to Kobe. I'm not sure how he must have snuck through IT to get in there, but that is going to be the opening that GCF needs to get on the second. And I think this is part of the GCS and the closest that GCF have come in a while to finally capping up and you know getting somewhere to even they're just gonna be barreling straight in paul they're gonna be taking down the sentry gun the uber is used for getting some early cap time on the point uh, gonna be focused firing down gwendolyn who's on the heavy right now the respawners in for global clan panda they're gonna be trying to defend this point sandblast is so weak right now he's gonna be getting an air to stay alive right there that is oh, gonna be so paul on the point time. i know there's just so much cap time he's just gonna stay at it bad Rikachu went in and made the right play. He saw that the soldier needed to get health, so he just played the point, and that's exactly what they needed to do. So it is now two to three, still in favor of GCP, but definitely a huge round, especially for Walrex. That round was huge for Walrex. He definitely clutched up and did a, a ton of work for his team. So we are excited to see what they can do this. It looks like both demos are going to be getting in. Uh, we do see Alexandros bombing in fast, but he is going to opt to play a little bit more passive here. Walrex is playing a little bit slower as well here uh looks like both teams are opting to double bomb it's like walrus is in deep oh gets kyler with a nice flash rocket off the wall oh we do see sandblast in though trying to get played him played him down to 8 hp what he lives he survives how does Planet he survive never dies. How... He never dies 
<laughs> How does he survive there? I thought I just thought that splash rocket would have connected, but it doesn't so played it have lives to see another day. That is actually so fortunate for him right there. I would have been pissed if I was that soldier. But you know, at the end of the day, it looks like GCF is finally starting to turn things around there. It looks like they're finally starting to be in the driver's seat of this match right now, Jakey, which is what they desperately need. The current score still is gonna be three two in favor of Clan Panda right now. So they are going to be on their second. It's like GCF finally going to be starting to maybe try and peek through this choke point area. Everyone on Panda is just playing all the way back at their rollout right now, just giving up so much. And yeah, it looks like they're finally just going to be backing up to their last. They basically gave that up for free. They know that the Uber ad is in the other team's favor right now. It's almost evening up right here, like Jakey Kyler. Yeah, at 80%. Yeah, they are trying to, they are taking it into three, they're going really fast, trying to get the med here. Oh, but they don't see the gun. Gun is going to go down. Are they going to be, oh, Larks is in, gets the force off. They do get Uber on that, but they, they are going to lose two players. So it is going to be, they are going to be back to square one for GCF here, but they were able to get, to, oh, they lose Paul Dog as well. This is definitely really bad for GCF. They are going to have to back up all the way to choke here. Um, let's see luckily that was a good bomb by walrex luckily or sadly it was a little too late for them and they weren't able to wasn't able to get the bomb off and kill the medic but he was able to get the force off at least which did help so now it looks like they are trying to dry fight this they do get a pick on gwen which can be really good now it's going to be easy for soldiers to bomb they do get a lot of damage on kyler he's getting backed up they're doing huge damage they do retake that point and they do have slight ad here actually they have about uh, 20, 20 add, and they might want to try and go off this if they can build it hard enough. Yeah, they are already in lobby. I just worry that don't drop a player before they actually have, as has been the case a lot of times on these last pushes, but if they are coming up now, plenty of down so low right there, gonna be taking up the pack to just heal back up, and they're now at 100%. As I say, Walrex does die before the Uber in position to be used, so maybe they were just deciding, maybe they didn't even know it was even, to be honest, they might have just gone in for a uh, little solo sack right there there. Rikachu gonna be dying. Well, Drag was up on the sniper class, but he does switch off. As it looks like Panda is gonna be trying to push out of their last point right now. That is gonna be Alexandra's through Crypt gonna be going down. And right now, this should be calling cards for GCF to back the heck out of there. Uh, actually, no, it looks like they're gonna be happy to try and defend. Walrix is gonna be dropped from this Uber. Gonna be using on the Kobe in response right now. It's gonna be Panda right now. They are gonna be backing up through Sewer, and that seems to be a successful push-out attempt for or global clan panda right there yeah definitely huge plays i mean they did do it they did have to take an exchange there unfortunately it was on the back foot so we did have to see global clan fire back up here now it looks like both teams are trying to fight this sandblast bombing in getting the pick on animus actually getting a lot of really good damage on to walrex as well really really bad held on the side of gcf and they are going to have to leave this choke point here sandblast bombing in trying to get something of it but he is kind of getting oh he <laughs> gets picked by a spam arrow from kyler spam arrows are really underrated they do a, a crap ton of damage and players honestly really need to utilize that a little bit more because that is how you get really good picks that pick is allowing their team to walk oh my god oh! Bulldog! Bulldog! he's so good dude he's so good oh Crypt gets it against the bed! Dude, it's insane! These it, players, Crypt and Paul Dog just went off right there, but Platinum is gonna- Alexandros gets two and lives! What now the heck? They're just gonna be pushing this last with no contention. Just, they're just gonna get on the point and they are just gonna cap this here. Nothing's gonna be able to stop them. Walrex trying to get in and get some spam, but unfortunately he's just not up fast enough. So it is gonna be 4-2 on the side of GCP. It is, and they uh, if they win this next round, their their flub of not putting in the right config won't even matter because they need one more round and they'll win it. However, you know, it's going to be on GCF. They've been looking a bit better on these mids so far, so hopefully they just get a few nice mid to last to get them back in it. They, I'm going to be looking at the soldiers right now because we've been seeing a lot of great initiation plays from them so far. They are going to be trying to get on to Gwen. However, Gwen just going to be running forward, going to be running into Bulldog right now, going to be taking him down with the help of Alexandra, so great focus fire right there from them. Uh, however, Sandblast is going to die, basically 
creating. So unfortunate. Crypt is going to be taking out Kobe. And it's going to be taking down Drag as well. And once again, it's looking like a Global Clan fire mid victory. It is just Gwen and her medic alive. Going to be exiting uh, Kyler out oh. through IT. Alexandra's going to be taking out Planadium, however. So now the fact that Kyler lived is even better for the side of Global Clan Panda. Even though they lost this mid, they basically should be able to retake it for free. I don't think um, the spawns are going to be in favor of Global Clan Fire to get on the second. And so now it'll be on Global Clan Panda to re push into mid here, Jakey. Yeah, definitely huge play for Alexandros to be getting played on him there. That was the thing they needed to retake this bid. And honestly, they might be able to finish the game out here if they're able to push this fast enough. But it looks like Walrex is trying to bomb in. Pull. Kyler's going to force there because he is going to be down to 43 HP. So he is going to force and choke. Oh, Crypt getting owned by Kobe there again. The demos are going off this game right now. It's, and Sandbox is going to be in on the medic trying to get a pick because they are going to be down players. It looks like they double sacked for it. So they are going to lose two other players, three other players. Actually, Gwen's going to go down as well. Looks like they're trying to bust through Choke here, trying to get in and take as much space as possible with this Uber ad. We do see Paul Dog bombing up, trying to take some ground. Platinum is down to 50 HP here, though. He is starting to look pretty weak. If any of the soldiers bomb here, it could be really good for them. Yeah, GCP's got to be careful here because Planadium's getting close to that Uber, so they have to back out. Actually, no, Rikachu's going to do it for them, taking down Kobe. So now they have to really back the heck out of it. They're going to be playing by one and two right now as the rest, as G uh, Global Clan Fire just barrel through. are going to be taking down this point, and this is going to be ground for them. They can catch drag. They are, so now this is going to be a very great for them to try and get in here onto their uh, Global Clan Panda's lap now. Get be capping it up. Richu is going to go down to Alexandra, so that's going to stop that second cap up just enough to maybe deny this push from Global Clan Fire, and especially with Animus and Polydog down. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. Planadium uses basically on no one right now just to get the heck out of there. That is going to be uh, regrouping up with Walrex. They, uh, and that w was looking really great for Global Clan Fire there, Jakey, but it just turned disastrous as that second cap was denied and uh, I think a, uh, a Paul Dog and one of the were left out the dry there in that uber push yeah definitely really unfortunate there for the side of global clan fire but they global clan panda has been doing a lot of clutch plays they have been getting a lot of really good salvage plays going off here and we are seeing warrex getting a force there and he's gonna live they are gonna actually pick off hobie as well in that uber the medic is overcommitted kyler is definitely caught here definitely he is gonna go down there palady and palady i'm still up scout is gonna die there on the <laughs> side of mid as well he is gonna crater uh, GCP Gwen is going to die there. Uh, we do see another bomb in here from Alexandros. Oh, play him so low! Drag oh. is going to come in as well, and Sandblast is in. Oh, they're actually going to clean up! They this are going to clean up! Oh, oh my god. The respawners. Oh my god, that was looking good for GCF, but they didn't have the mid, so for respawners were just in the panda's favor right now. And they, uh, just some really good coordinated monkey mode shenanigans right there means that they get Planadium. And they, uh, that's, that's gonna be them pushing through. Walrex is in IT right now. I don't think he has been spotted. Oh he is gonna get one God, nice rocket on this. He gets Kyler! Really great from Walrex <laughs> right there to get Kyler. These medics have not been having a great time whatsoever. Alexandros is basically in behind, but no, he does go back up to help his team on second, but it doesn't even matter. Planadium is basically the only one on uh, last right now. Crypt going to be doing the best to stop up the second cap, going to be taking down Drag. And it uh, looks like Ubers are going to be just slightly in Global Clan Fire's favor right now, Jakey, but they don't really have a response to do much at the moment. I'm noticing that this is just salvage play after salvage play. Every time it's looking like the back foot for one team, the roamer or the other soldier is just clutching up and able to get those the med pick. Warrex with his invis watch on soldier just walking through IT and nobody sees him and he's on the medic's face getting that pick was huge for his team. So now they're going to have Uber at here and they, and they are going to try and push out with this because Animus is going to be up by the time they get this Uber. So it looks like they are trying to push out with it. Maybe they're trying to take it through uh, one or maybe they they think it's even. They are uh, looking like they're just trying to settle down. Um, maybe just play for the sack. They do see that Allegros goes down. Warrex goes down trying to sack for the med. I and mean, it is looking like just the standard hold here, but they are going to be down two soldiers on the side of GCP. And it looks like the... Uh, oh, Paul Dog is basically in a 1v1 right now with Drag. Drag is going to win 
that right now. And so now GCF have to stay here on their last. Looks like Animus and Rikachu just gonna be pushing this rollout area. Gonna be taking down Gwen. Samba, actually no, Alexandro is gonna be denied air right now. Really great stickies and uh pipes right now coming out from Kobe onto Animus. Rikachu going down as well, but the Uber was used from Kyler. So now Global Clan Fire still have a hundred percent, but it's gonna be whether they can keep it during this entire change. Samblast is in. He gets wall shot the heck down, but the Uber is used. They did uh were forced in the end. Uh that is gonna be Paul Dog and Barf in a little bit of an awkward exchange. Paul Dog saying nice pipe. Uh, to that one right there. Drag gonna be taking down Crypt. I think at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a bit of a stalemate. The scouts from the side of Global Clan Fire still peeking, trying to do whatever they can, but without any soldiers to really initiate for them, they are just gonna have to back up. And we're in another stalemate, but Alexandros is on the sniper class. So let's see if he can do something here, Jakey. Yeah, it does look like Ad. I mean, it is. Uh, maybe they're starting to think it's even. Um, so it is fair to run the sniper. He's on Huntsman, actually. Looks like he's maybe trying to go through something funny. One, there aren't any traps here. He's trying to get something funny. He's going to get caught out by Paul Dog. He is going to go down. He isn't going to get anything here. Paul Dog is trying to do lots of good damage. He does insane damage. He's on Cole three health. Wins with three HP. He'll survive there. He is going to get back into position. So it doesn't look like they didn't really do anything productive there. Um, Alexandros is going to go down. Uh, maybe they sack on the side of GCF? I don't think they are. It's looking a bit late for that. Um, so it looks like they're just trying to settle back down. Alexandro's still on Sniper. I think he might have accidentally been on Huntsman, but he's actually still on Huntsman. He gets Walrex! He gets Walrex with a nice air shot, or headshot. <laughs> Walrex with the GG's <laughs> in chat. Huge, air, huge headshot coming from Alexandros there. He's trying to peek with the Huntsman. Trying to shoot and trying to see if he can maybe get a pick. Oh, they are oh, Paul Dog. as well. This is definitely pushable. They're down a demo right now. They can definitely dry fight this, even with the sniper here. They are going to get the NG as well. This is huge. huge sentry gun going down. From them. They, and they get the sentry as well. This is huge. Oh, but they are going to lose Kobe. I think they yeah. baited Kobe a little too hard. There. They definitely could have pushed that with Kobe if he would have just committed. But they baited him, and he ends up going down there. And it looks like they may be trying to take through one. They're trying oh, to yeah. take through one. Oh, oh poor Paul Dog, he's all by himself. Alexandro's gonna be taking down Animus. The Uber's used. Oh my god, that soldier's oh, getting suspended. What the heck? He was Ubered that entire time, so it doesn't really matter, but still, really great <laughs> shots from Samblast right there onto, I believe, Crypt. And so that is gonna be an exchange right there, but, but more players on the side of Global Clan Panda. Oh my god, the headshot from Alexandro's oh on the plot. And finally, the cap is real and they are gonna win global clan panda is gonna be taking that five to two i believe definitely definitely a uh funny game <laughs> that uh it was definitely just a chaos throughout the entire thing um oh yeah it was it was salvage play after salvage play after demo air shot after demo air shot both the Demos were hitting insane pipes. It was it was a very interesting game to watch. It was very funny as well. There's a lot of funny moments. Um, so definitely fun to watch. And I, honestly, I'm I'm happy for uh, Global Clan Panda. They definitely surprised me. So um, uh, you know, having Kobe on your and on demo is is definitely a huge um, you know huge thing. So I I I'm definitely pleasantly surprised with their performance. Oh yeah, Kobe, uh, I, I don't know if stats are on the screen just quite yet, but both demos having a whale of a game, doing really well. Kobe at 387, almost hitting that 400. Just monstrous amount of damage from him. He was insane. Uh, Bulldog is well at 350. I don't know how many air shots they got. Um, it only says 2 and 7 for them, but uh, yeah, 7 air shots for Paul Dog. Just really, really great stuff from both of the demos. And I... Honestly, it's it's just a really fun game to watch. Uh, like you said, really great stuff from Global Clan Panda showing up, and even though they a newer team and maybe more in experienced in that respect, they definitely proved that they, uh, uh, by the end they were definitely the a uh, the better team. That five to two scoreline is nothing to scat. And even though I don't think they have any real hopes, or I don't think it's possible for them to get in the playoffs, still a nice uh, you know little morale boost for them. Yeah, definitely huge. I mean, this Global Clan Fire definitely isn't a terrible team. I mean, you know, Walrex 
on Soldier. Crip on Soldier, definitely huge. Paulog is huge. Um, you know, and uh, they have really, really good players, so it's definitely not a ter not a bad win, regardless. Um, but Global Clan Panda definitely did really good. That uh, it's actually their first dub of the season. So let's go oh. here for Global Clan Panda first dub of the season. So I mean, they did come in late. Uh, I think they came in week four. Yeah, because they're on their roster or on their time. It's it's just week four. Um, but definitely huge coming from them um i'm i'm again very pleasantly surprised so am i i do have to say sorry it's come to my attention that i've been pronouncing platinum's name wrong i've been saying palladium palladium so my bad there but a uh, regardless really great stuff from all of the players um even global clan fire shout outs to them they gave it their all and it was a very fun match to watch um and I think, you know, we, we already talked ab about the logs and what this means for the future. So I guess, you know, go start going to the shout outs. Jake, Jakey, you got any shout outs? Uh, shout out Walrex. Shout, shout out Jake, even though he wasn't in the game. Um, shout, shout out that shot by Paul Dog. That shot was insane. So shout out my homie Dropbox. He's always, always in the, always in the chat. Um, appreciate him. Uh, and that's about it. How about you? You got any shoutouts? Uh, you know, shouts to all the players playing and giving us a really great game tonight to watch. Shoutouts as well to Drop Knock, always in the chat. Free Drop Knock. <laughs> um, and shoutouts to Mario Mans for producing this. Shoutouts to you, Jakey. Really fun to cast with you tonight. And shoutouts to all of you watching us here on Team Fortress TV. We'll be back. With more content, don't know when that will be, what it will be, but it will definitely be happening at some point as, as we continue our coverage of the RGL season. So stay tuned, and thank you, and good night.